Welcome everybody to the Maximize Your Membership session and also want to say uh, happy National Injury Prevention Day here on November 18th. My name is Krista Thalen and I am a program manager with Safe States Alliance. We're gonna have a brief presentation and then allow for some networking. So there's just a few slides that we'd like to share with you as we go over a few uh, things about Safe States to get you more acquainted with the organization. So we would like to welcome new members here are some slides that we have from this year's conference that was held in Portland, Oregon, and uh, slides feature various members from across the nation. Currently, we have over 800 members in our organization, and a breakdown of membership shows that we have members from federal government agencies, hospitals, state and local health departments, schools, universities, tribal health departments, private nonprofit organizations, and then a small sliver, those that fall under another category. Our membership includes organizational members, individual members, student members, those that are students, and then a dual membership that we have with students uh, that are Safe States members and then uh, that we share with our sister organization, SAVER, the Society for Advancement of Violence and Injury Research, and then retiree members. And as you can see, just the breakdown in percentage there. Some ways we encourage our members to get involved are through committees and special interest groups. Our executive committee is by appointment, but then we have other committees, membership development, finance and audit, policy, annual conference planning and concept development. And we also have special interest groups, state de designated representative is by appointment, but others include hospital and injury prevention, partner in sexual violence, and student and early career special interest groups. I'd like to take this moment to introduce new staff. We have Hannah Dunlop, our communications coordinator, and Jessica Ward, our technology coordinator. We're pleased to have had them join us in the past few months. Both were interns with our organization over the past year and a half, and we're pleased to have been able to bring them on board as staff, and we are learning lots from them as, uh, benefiting from um, what they're able to share with us uh, in their roles as communications and technology coordinators. Other ways to get involved for our new members, I mentioned committees and special interest groups, but we also have trainings that we offer through our resource hub and training center, participation in programs, advocacy, and through our annual conference. I also wanted to highlight our In Touch on our website. When you signed up as a new member, you received an email from me with login information. And in the top right-hand corner on our web main web page, when you sign in with your username and password, it allows you to access this page of In Touch. And what you can do is connect with other members online and find those working in the same type of injury and violence prevention work as you do in the same areas um, geographically that you're working. And again, this is a network of over 800 injury and violence prevention professionals across the nation. So I encourage you to check it out. You're able to join groups, our committees, and special interest groups use in touch to connect and share information from their meetings, uh, share resources. And so it's just a great way to connect beyond email or uh, other uh, types of 
ways um, diving deeper into the work um, that we are doing. So check that out. And if you have questions, you can reach out to any of our staff and we're happy to help you with that. I'm now gonna turn it over to Hannah, who is gonna share a little bit more about the communication opportunities that we have for you. Thank you, Krista, and hi, everyone. It's so nice to be here with you all, and I'm happy to be um, on staff with Safe States, if I haven't met you before, um, but I'm just gonna do a brief overview of the communications opportunities and how it will relate to you as members. Chris. Awesome. Okay, so I'll start with an overview of the platforms that we do have. Social media is the main area where we're currently trying to grow, and that includes our LinkedIn um, and Instagram, X or Twitter, uh, whatever you would like to call it, and then YouTube. And what we post on those social media channels is new resources, uh, event announcements, webinar event announcements, um, staff changes and wins, so you can keep up to date with that, as well as member highlights. We really do want to focus our members in the amazing work that you are all doing in the IVP field. So those are the main purposes of our social media for YouTube specifically, that's where we're going to begin to post a lot more of our trainings. Right now, that's where IVP 360 is housed, which is a comprehensive training on IVP, but we'll continue to post our webinars there uh, from here on out in our FY25 fiscal year. And then if you want to engage with our communications. You can email us if you want us to feature things. You can tag our social media accounts for us to repost those. It really is to get your name out there as much as it is to get our name. Um, and then when you like and repost things, that always increases reach as well. It's not required, but um, that is a, a fun way to engage. And then moving on to our newsletter, most of you will get those unless you unsubscribe, but it includes updates on our staff, where staff are traveling to at national convenings. This is where we talk about policy and advocacy work that Safe States is doing, job openings. There'll be quite a few of those coming up next, um, next month. And then we'll also start to roll out a Safe States Digest, which is a new communication tool which will have updates and latest news in the IVP field, which you are um, able to subscribe to if you are interested in. And then next slide, Krista. And so the types of content that we create on those various platforms, um, graphics are the main thing that we'll use on social media. And we also do write-ups. Um, so for our newsletter, if you want your organization to be featured, we usually try to tie it with any national observances going on for that specific month. Uh, but this November, so on, on Wednesday and Thursday, depending if you're a member or a partner, um, you'll get that write-up on Seven Directions, which is a partner organization to highlight National uh, Native American Heritage Month. And then we also do short form video content. This is a, a new thing for Safe States. So we posted a reel on Instagram today to celebrate National Injury Prevention Day, but we are going to use this to highlight some of our webinars so you can get to know the presenters beforehand, um, which will hopefully increase engagement. And so, like I mentioned before, that we really do want to highlight our members and as well as their organizations. So these are some examples of graphics that we've done in the past. We always like to thank um, our members on Public Health Thank You Day and then um, while having another purpose. So you can see that one is for an observance, one is for a resource or work promotion, and one is for the benefits of safe states. So we like it to be a, a dual benefit, so benefiting you and and safe states to show why it is important to be a member. Um, if you go to the next slide, Krista, this is the new tool to make it easier for you to get your um, 
something you've done out there. So whether that's uh, a resource you want to highlight, just the work that you or a colleague are doing, uh, and this is the way that will hopefully make it easier. Um, we have a Google form that if you scan that QR code, um, I can also drop the link in the chat, but you can fill this out at any time. Um, if you would like to be featured on our social media, you can also email um, comms at safe states directly if you have questions about it, if you would like us um, to start to repost things that you're gonna post say that in the next week, um, but hopefully this will make the process easier and less scary because I want to reiterate, we do want to share all of the amazing things that you're doing. And then the last thing, the our website, we do add job opportunities. So if your organization has a, a job announcement that you'd like us to add, we'll add that to our website. I do edit that as soon as I get an email. So it's updated quite frequently. And then we also have the opportunity to add your organization's news and updates, um, which is in a different section of our website. So these are other ways to help get your name out there and your opportunities. And then a new addition is our Flickr account. We started to add photos. Um, so all of the photos from the annual conference are here. So you can um, just scan that QR code, download them, and then use them on your own social media channels or just to um, save for personal use. So we'll start to add more photos within the year of Safe States events. And then, like I said, there's that Google Form QR code and then our email, which you can direct any communications related question to. And then these are QR codes to all of our social medias. If you are not following them already, I do highly suggest it, not because I that is my job, um, but there's a lot of helpful tools and resources that are shared on those platforms. Um, so thank you for listening and, and feel free to ask any questions that you have. Thank you for joining the Maximize Your Membership session today. We hope you found the information useful. And if you have more that you want to learn about safe states, please check out our website at www.safestates.org.